welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. Um, this, this particular edition is going to be talking about a new Azure preview feature called Azure Synapse Studio. So let's go and, and look at Azure Synapse Studio uh, right away. Um, so let me pull up the screen. And here you'll see the home page of the screen. Um, the home page of the Synapse Studio is, is um, pretty self-explanatory. You can ingest data, so you can create a new pipeline and ingest big data. You can explore data that you already have. You can analyze data that you already have in, in, the, in the workspace. And you can also visualize data using Power BI. So it's really kind of a one-stop shop for working with big data and uh, data of any size, really. Um, but it's specifically for big data, working with big data um, and getting it into a, either a Azure Synapse Analytics works um, database or a Spark uh, a Spark pool for working uh, with the Spark database system and uh, doing Spark jobs and things like that. So for, without further ado, let's just kind of look over the workspace and the, and the studio and show you kind of what you can do with it. So right now we're on the home page of the workspace and you can click on the new button here and you can see where you can do various things. You can create a new SQL script, which can be executed against your, either your SQL on demand or another SQL database that you might have connected to your studio's workspace. Uh, you can also create a Jupyter Notebook which is very powerful and run that notebook in the context of either SQL or a Spark uh, context. So you can run it in either context. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and create a new notebook and I'll show you what I mean. So the notebook here is um, essentially empty right now. There's no code or anything. I've got it attached to my Spark tool, which is a Spark tool, but I can, I can attach it to other things too by going here and clicking on manage pools and creating another pool of either a SQL pool or a Spark pool. Uh, but anyway, to add code, you just simply click this button and you can add code and, and um, you know, one plus one um, equals two and um, you can run that and, you know, different things. Uh, and then add other cells and, and all that sort of thing. So I'm not gonna go and teach you Jupyter Notebooks or, or Python today, but I thought I would at least show you how you create a notebook and start working with it. And then you can publish these notebooks uh, as all artifacts that you create here. You can publish these things. And what happens similar to data fact, these things get published and they become entities in and of themselves that can be accessed using the, the workspace uh, from then on. So, and you can assign permissions to them and, and work with them and all that. And I'll show you kind of how to start doing that here in a moment. Um, so let's get back to the main interface though. So we'll click back to home. And uh, I said that you could ingest data. So let's click on the ingest button and see what we get. So the initial, immediately what we, what we end up with is a new copy pipeline. So we can create a new copy pipeline and either run it once or run it regularly on a schedule. If I click on next, it's gonna ask for a um, uh, link service to use to, to create a data set as the source data store. So um, it's very similar to Data Factory. In fact, it's identical to Data Factory because I think it's Data Factory under the hood. Um, so, but anyway, you can, you can use it to connect to just about anything. Um, no SQL databases, generic protocols, file databases, uh, databases that you have linked to um, uh, the studio and Azure. Uh, this, this is particularly connected to my um, default storage that I have connected to Snap Studio. And, um, but anyway, um, this, is, this is what allows you to create a pipeline. So the next thing you might want to do after creating the pipeline and ingesting your data is explore your data. So you can do that by working with a notebook, as I've shown you already, or you can do something like um, uh, working with uh, uh, your pipelines, or you can come over here and create something new, uh, connect to an external data source, or you can connect to a data set that you've created. So um, and also over here with 
uh, the database that I have connected to, which I, it's a SQL on demand, you always get a SQL on demand instance with um, Synapse Studio whenever you create a new instance of Synapse Studio. And what SQL on demand is really for is just working with SQL on demand. In other words, creating uh, objects, uh, running SQL queries, doing all those kinds of things on demand and uh, without really necessarily intending to keep these objects for a long period of time. So if you want to do that, you can go in and actually create a new database. And I'll show you how to do that. You come in here and you click on uh, here and then connect to external data. And then you can connect to either Azure Cosmos DB instance or Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 instance. So that's how you can connect to external data. Um, and you can also create a new database by, by coming over here to your manage button and you can create a new SQL pool. And so I can click over here and click enter, those, enter the SQL pool name that I want, select my performance level and, um, and add additional settings and then review and create and boom, I've got a new SQL pool ready to go, uh, ready to start working uh, to, to, to you know, build a data warehouse on or whatever you're gonna do. Um, so SQL on demand is for, for very uh, short explorations of, of things, external data, for instance, as I showed you, or just running C quick SQL commands and creating some tables and then um, storing some data in those tables and then uh, doing some SQL on them and, and, and analyzing the data and that sort of thing. So that's really what that's for. And of course, you also have access to Apache Spark tools. I've got an, a, a pool started right here. And uh, basically you, you can come in here and configure it. It's configured to auto scale. It's configured on my workspace. And um, essentially it works just like Databricks really, um, because it is all Spark pooled. Uh, it, it, it's an all Spark instance. So you can run any kind of Spark workload on it just as you could with the Databricks, uh, a, a Databricks instance. Um, the next thing I'd like to show you are linked services. So this is where you create all your linked services to, um, uh, for your data factory, uh, pipelines and, and instances to, to work with uh, when you're working with your databases and things like that. So with link services, you can come in here and create a new link service simply by selecting the type of data store you wanna look at and, uh, and then adding your information and, and connecting to that data source. And then that becomes a link service that you can then um, access data from. So, there's a lot of things that you can do with this interface. I think it's a really great interface. I think it's gonna really help people uh, from data engineers to data scientists to business analysts to work all together in a single workspace and not have to flip back and forth between like tools like Databricks or Data Factory or SQL Azure SQL, uh, Synapse Analytics or things like that. You can work with it all in one tool. So that's about it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed looking over the new uh, studio and I hope that you'll uh, sign up for a preview and work with it on your own. Um, there's lots of things to learn. There's lots of things that you can do with it. And I look forward to hearing questions about it and I'll try to answer any questions I can. Um, but again, this is a new product. It's a preview feature. You have to sign up for it. So um, please do and, and enjoy. Thanks again and welcome again to Azure Every Day.